हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एज वी ऑल नो सेल्स डिवाइड टू ग्रो एंड रिपेयर टिश्यूज नाउ डिवीजन ऑफ सेल्स इज अ हाईली रेगुलेटेड एंड कंट्रोल्ड प्रोसेस एंड द डिसीज कैंसर अराइजेज ड्यू टू द रैपिड एबनॉर्मल अनकंट्रोल्ड एक्सेसिव मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ सेल्स नाउ माइक्रोट्यूब्यूल्स प्ले अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन सेल डिवीजन In today's video we are going to study pharmacology of uh, microtubule damaging agents. Now these are M phase specific drugs and inhibit the process of mitosis and thereby they prevent the cell division, cell multiplication and cell proliferation. Now these are the drugs that either prevent or enhance polymerization of microtubules. Now in order to understand mechanism of action of these drugs let's first understand polymerization and depolymerization of uh, microtubule and their significant importance during the process of cell division Now as we all know mitosis is a process of cell division and uh, replicated DNA or uh, duplicated chromosomes are equally divided into two daughter cells Now prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase are the stages of mitosis Now these are the replicated chromosomes as you can see here each chromosome consists of two sister chromatids that are joined at the centromere now there is duplication of centrosome and each centrosome moves to, towards the opposite pole of the cell and forms the spindle fibers now these spindle fibers are formed of microtubules now these microtubules are highly dynamic structure their length increases or decreases as per the requirement of cell divisions now microtubules are composed of proteins alpha tubulin and beta tubulin that form the dimers so microtubules are composed of alpha beta tubulin dimers now during polymerization of microtubules these dimers they come together and they align themselves and this increases the length of microtubules whereas during depolymerization these dimers they dissociate move out of the alignment and this shortens the length of microtubules now during early metaphase microtubules polymerize they increase in the length and they form these spindle fibers now these spindle fibers align chromosomes in a line and these spindle fibers are connected to the centromere of each chromosome now see here when uh, uh, micro uh, tubule uh, spindle fibers de uh, polymerize these spindle fibers they shorten in the length and continued depolymerization and shortening of the spindle fibers cause separation of the sister chromatids and these sister chromatids they move towards the opposite poles now each sister chromatid is uh, considered now as an as an individual chromosome and the nucleus divides this is followed by the complete division of the parent cell into two daughter cells so now it's very important to understand that uh, microtubules undergo a constant cycle of polymerization and depolymerization for a cell to divide and this is a highly dynamic process now microtubule damaging agents are of two types drugs that uh, belong to the class taxanes these drugs enhance polymerization of microtubules and cause stabilization of uh, polymerized microtubules that that means uh, the state this state uh, that is the polymerized state of uh, spindle fibers is stabilized now microtubules cannot depolymerize so spindle fibers cannot shorten in length and this prevents uh, the separation of sister chromatids so cell cannot move from metaphase to anaphase thus uh, cell division or mitosis is arrested 
at the metaphase so now the cell cannot divide now on the contrary the drugs that belong to vinca alkaloids cause depolymerization or they cause a uh, destabilization of microtubules so this prevents formation of spindle fibers so again mitosis is prevented nucleus cannot divide and cell division is prevented so microtubule damaging drugs either they enhance uh, and stabilize polymerization of microtubules this prevents shortening of microtubules or they cause depolymerization or destabilization of microtubules this prevents lengthening of microtubules and thus uh, this prevents formation of spindle fibers so based on the mechanism of action microtubule damaging agents are classified in two broad categories vinca alkaloids uh, that cause depolymerization and uh, prevent formation of spindle fibers for example vincristine vinblastin vinorelbin and taxanes taxanes cause stabilization of polymerized microtubules and this prevents shortening of spindle fibers now the drugs included in this class are paclitaxel and docetaxel uh, now let's study pharmacology of uh, vinca alkaloids and taxanes now drugs that uh, belong to vinca alkaloids are vincristine vinblastin and vinorelbin all vinca drugs are administered by iv infusion these are m phase specific drugs they inhibit mitosis and uh, we have already discussed their mechanism of action now vinca alkaloids bind to the microtubular protein that is uh, beta tubulin and uh, uh, this prevents polymerization and assembly of uh, microtubules as microtubules do not grow in the size in the length uh, this prevents formation of uh, mitotic spindles and thus sister chromatids they fail to move apart uh, towards the opposite poles and uh, this prevents the cell division now indications of vincristine vincristine is used in the remission uh, or for the elimination of symptoms of uh, childhood acute lymphoblastic leukemia uh, it is also useful in acute myeloid leukemia then uh, hodgkins disease wilms disease ewing's sarcoma then uh, neuroblastoma and carcinoma of lungs now main toxicities of uh, vincristine are peripheral neuropathy and alopecia uh, it can cause ataxia and nerve palsies other toxicities are uh, autonomic dysfunction that can uh, cause uh, postural hypotension then paralytic ileus urinary retentions then uh, seizures can also occur and uh, when cristin causes minimal bone marrow suppression Uh, it can also cause a syndrome of inappropriate secretion of antidiuretic hormone that is adh where in most of the cases uh, secretion of adh increases so this is the pharmacology of vincristine now a uh, vinblastin vinblastin is used for the treatment of uh, hodgkins disease then uh, kaposi sarcoma neuroblastoma non hodgkin lymphoma breast and testicular carcinoma now unlike when christine uh, when blastin uh, causes a prominent bone marrow depression while neurotoxicity and alopecia are less compared to when christine when blastin uh, can also produce syndrome of uh, inappropriate secretion of antidiuretic hormone and uh, iv infusion of all these drugs can cause uh, local tissue necrosis now vinorelbin is a newer analog of uh, vinblastin uh, it's uh, primarily used in uh, non small cell lung cancer and it is a second line uh, drug for the treatment of advanced breast and ovarian carcinoma it causes uh, neutropenia now severity of uh, neutropenia increases with the increase in dose and it also causes thrombocytopenia and neurotoxicity so this is the pharmacology of vinca alkaloids
Now let's discuss uh, taxanes. Now paclitaxel and docetaxel uh, belong to this category. Now doxetaxel is a congener or derivative of paclitaxel. Now mechanism of action of these drugs we have already discussed. Now these drugs bind to beta tubulin and enhance polymerization of microtubules. Uh, microtubules are stabilized and thus depolymerization of microtubules is prevented. Thus uh, microtubules cannot contract and length of spindle fibers do not get shortened. Thus uh, uh, texanes inhibit normal dynamic reorganization of microtubules that prevents shortening in the length of the uh, microtubules uh, that prevents the shortening in the length of spindle fibers and thus mitosis is arrested in the metaphase and the cells cannot divide. Now indications uh, after failure of uh, first line chemotherapy these drugs are used in uh, metastatic ovarian and breast carcinoma and uh, these drugs are also used in the relapse cases. Now besides this, these drugs are also indicated in head and neck uh, cancer, then small cell lung cancer, esophageal adenocarcinoma, refractory prostate cancer and Kaposi sarcoma. Now major toxicities of uh, taxanes is the reversible uh, myelosuppression, mainly these cause uh, granulocytopenia, then stocking and glove neuropathy, stocking refers to feet and glove to the hands. So these drugs can cause nerve damage that affects feet and hands. Other toxic effects are nausea, chest pain, arthalgia, myalgia, mucositis and edema. So this is the pharmacology of uh, microtubule damaging anti-cancer agents. Please note information provided in this video is only for academic informative purpose. For use of any of these drugs or for the treatment of uh, cancer, consult your physician. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.